and welcome into this week's edition of Your Next Favorite Driver right here on Racing News Now. As always, I'm your host, Garth Allen. Thank you once again for joining me tonight. On this week's edition of Your Next Favorite Driver, we are highlighting ARCA Racing Series star Gus Dean, driver of the number 32 Gree Cooling Products Toyota for Wintron Racing. Gus has had a very good start to the season this year. Um, only one top 10 in four starts this season, sitting eighth in points. The one top 10, though, I don't think indicative of the actual start to the season that Gus has had. He's had a lot of speed in the car. It's just bad luck here and there has prevented him from having the good finishes that um, he probably should have had. Uh, take, for example, this past week in Talladega. Um, running well inside the top 10 late in the race and then gets caught up in that calamity coming to what was supposed to be the checkered flag before they went into the overtimes and that relegated him to a 12th place finish at the end. Uh, really should have been a better finish than that. Um, I'm sure we'll see much better finishes from him going forward once he shakes the, uh, the bad luck he's had to start the season. So at that, we'll go ahead and get right here into my chat with Gustine over the phone. We're now joined by Gustine, driver of the Gree Cooling Products Toyota in the ARCA Racing Series for Wintron Racing. Gus, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, no problem. We love having guys like you on. And uh, so we'll just start off with... Uh, how did you get started in racing, Gus? Everybody's got that uh, story of how they got into racing. What is your story? Uh, well, my family's always been uh, a family of gearheads, for sure. Um, you know, while my granddad didn't necessarily uh, go to any sanctioned races or anything like that, he always had the fastest car in town and, uh, you know, the fastest boat and this, that, and the other. Um, and, and my dad was the same way. Uh, my dad uh, started going to the local dirt track, um, back home just to, to help some of his buddies out and stuff like that and through that he got into uh, into go-kart racing um, and, and you know once I came along obviously it didn't take long for me to kind of take his seat so I um, we, we got into the go-kart racing and uh, you know I, I won several state championships and I uh, ended up winning a national title um, and you know he asked if I wanted to, to try to make a career out of it and uh, you know I, obviously uh, I, 10 year old kid you know that was uh that was the ultimate dream so that's that's where we went and um we you know i started go-karts when i was um five or six and uh and we moved into the house next to series when i was uh 10 and uh from there we went on to super late models and uh and pro cup which is now uh back to a super late model series but the uh pro cup cars i was able to run for a few years which gave me some big car experience to, that, that I think translates well into to the ARCA cars. All right, so you, you've you got a lot of experience now in your past that it's all uh, led up now to this uh, full-time ride in the ARCA Racing Series. What would you consider your biggest accomplishments up to this point in racing? Well, you know, definitely uh, definitely coming up through go-karts, winning the, the national championship, um, you know, that, that was really huge for us back then. Um, and then moving on into the, the Allison Legacy Series, uh, you know, we we uh, we were able to win the inaugural race at North Wilkesboro um, when they reopened that track uh, for a few races. And um, the uh, our car was actually the car the next car to ride the elevator into Victory Lane after uh, Jeff Gordon in '94, I think. Um, so that was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool little feather in the cap. Um, but uh, but moving on from there, I mean, obviously my, my biggest accomplishment this far is uh, has been winning Talladega in the Arca race. Uh, I mean, it was that was an unbelievable day. Um, you know, it's we kind of had the heartbreak there from Daytona. Um, you know, that was everybody hears about that one chance um, that they have coming up through racing, and I really felt like Daytona was was my one chance, um, and, and to be taken out on lap two. You know, I really felt like that chance was kind of robbed from us. Um, but, you know, it, it, looking back, that was uh, probably one of the best things that could have happened um, because we had another sponsor on board for the Daytona race um, that I don't feel like would have moved forward 
Uh, but for Tortuga, um, we were able to bring on Greek cooling products. And uh, being able to win that race in my second ARCA race, my second super speedway race, um, and being able to take the title – with Gree on the car, which led up to a full season last year and, and another full season this year, along with Baker Distributing, um, you know that was just uh, that was such a big day for us. Looking back, so okay, so we've talked about uh, race car driver Gus up to this point. Now let's talk about Gus Dean as a person. Uh, tell us one cool thing about yourself that maybe a lot of people don't know. Uh, well, you. Know, <laughs> I'm definitely not a, uh, uh, I, I don't have a lot of balance, let's say, as far as, like, actual balance, like, standing up straight. Okay. <laughs> I tend to fall a lot, but, uh, but for whatever reason, uh, I love board sports. Um, not so much skateboarding. I think that kind of falls into that balance thing. <laughs> um, I don't think I've been able to make it more than a couple feet on a skateboard, but, uh, but definitely wakeboarding and surfing and, um, and snowboarding. I really like like all those things. Um, uh, you know, me and my dad were big hunters, and uh, we 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 like to go hunting. And, 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 you know, being able to spend that father son time with him uh, in the woods outside of the track. You know, because we're at the track. You know, we're both just so uh, business and folk goal oriented that you know it, it kind of takes away from that a little bit. But but being able to to reconnect with him in the woods and stuff like that that's uh, that's really big to me. So it's probably a good thing driving a race car doesn't require a lot of balance then. <laughs> probably so, probably so. <laughs> All right, so looking looking forward here, Gus, um, what is your schedule like for the rest of the year? We know you're running a full season in ARCA for Wintron this year. Um, are, you, are you running anything else that maybe folks can see you at? We are. We um, we're, we're you know, obviously like to say we're running the, the full time schedule in the ARCA racing series with Greek cooling products and Baker Distributing, um, and then we're also with Baker Distributing running a few select super late model races. Um, the next one being uh, the Cars Tour race at Hickory, I believe, um, which is right after this eleven week. Uh, 11 week stint that we have coming up in the, in the ARCA series, so we'll be running that. Um, and then you know whenever I can, I like to run. I have a little Legends car uh, that that we race for fun. Uh, they're a blast, you know. And, and any time I get behind the wheel of anything, there's always something to be learned. And uh, definitely with those Legends cars, they're they're small, but they're challenging, and they're they're um, you know I I feel like I gain something from being able to run those races. Uh, so being able to run that and the Super Late model, um, we'll definitely be doing that going forward throughout the year. Um, but you know, we're also trying to work on some other stuff towards the end of the year. Um, that's not really solidified yet, but, uh, but hopefully we'll be, we'll be moving into that and, uh, and hopefully looking, uh, looking a little bit further for the end of this year and next year. All right, cool. So lastly here, before we let you go, Gus, uh, where can folks find you online, whether that be social media or website or, or what have you? Well, we all, we have gustine.com, uh, for our website, but uh, on social media, um, we're on both Twitter and Instagram at at Gustine, um, and then on Facebook we are Gustine Racing. Uh, and we also have uh, Gree Racing's Twitter page and uh, Facebook page, as well as Baker Distributing. Give those a, a follow for me. That that really shows us the support and uh, and lets them know that that you know what they're doing with the racing is, is working for them, and, uh, and and just helps us out a lot. Definitely. All right. Well, Gus, thanks for joining us today, and uh, good luck for the rest of the season. Hopefully we've introduced you to a few more fans that may not have known you today. Well, I sure appreciate it. Thank you very much. And we want to thank Gus Dean one more time for coming on tonight. It was a pleasure talking to him, and we wish him nothing but the best going forward this season. I'm sure that won't be the last time we talk to him throughout this season. I'm sure he uh, we'll have some great finishes this season that he can come on and we can chat about uh, in the weeks to come in the ARCA Racing Series. So that will just about do it for us tonight on your next favorite driver. As always, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing from Racing News Now. Hit that big thumbs up button if you like the video. It is much appreciated when you do. And don't forget to support us on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash racingnewsnow. 
It is by no means required. You can definitely enjoy these videos for free. I don't have a single problem with that. But it is much appreciated when you do donate to us on Patreon because it just continues to help us grow and give you better and better quality content into the future. So with that, this has been your next favorite driver, introducing tomorrow's stars to you today. I'm Garth Allen for Racing News Now.